Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on neurofibromatosis type 1. Neurofibromatosis is a genetic disorder of the nervous system where the tumors will form on the nerve tissues. And mainly neurofibromatosis disorders affect the growth and development of the nerve cell tissue. So there are two main types of neurofibromatosis, which are type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is the more common type, which I will cover in this video. And both two types of neurofibromatosis, the inheritance pattern is autosomal dominant. And recently, schwannomatosis has been identified as a third type of neurofibromatosis. However, it is very rare. These are some of the signs we should look out for in type 1 neurofibromatosis. So the first picture shows the cafe au lait spots where it is flat, coffee-colored patches of the skin, usually can see in first year of life, increasing in size and number with the age. So the number of cafe au lait spots will be described in the next slide to meet the diagnostic criteria for type 1 neurofibromatosis. The next picture shows axillary freckling. So this freckling typically present in skin folds such as in axilla, the groin, neck base or submammary area and it is usually present by age of 10. The third picture shows neurofibroma where you can see small nodules, gelatinous in texture which will appear at puberty. They are not painful but they may be itchy and the number of neurofibromas increases with the age. Fourth picture shows the leech nodules in the eyes. So if you look properly, there are tiny regular brown hematomas on the iris. So this will be present when you use a slit lamp to examine the eye. And this hemat less than two millimeters in diameter. In 90% of the cases, they developed by 6 years old. Other signs that we should look out for in type 1 neurofibromatosis are short stature in children and also macrocephaly. This is the diagnostic criteria for neurofibromatosis type 1 and the diagnosis is made if two of the following are found. So there are seven criteria over here. First one is the cafe au lait spots there are at least six of them and the size depends on pre-pubertal or post-pubertal. Second criteria, two or more neurofibromas of any type or one plexiform neurofibroma. Third is freckling present. Fourth is optic glioma. Other criteria include two or more leash nodules, distinctive osseous lesions, or first degree relative with history of neurofibromatosis type 1. So if two of the following criteria are found, then we can diagnose it as type 1 neurofibromatosis. For the management, it includes multidisciplinary team, which involves the genetician, neurologist, surgeon, physiotherapist, and a general practitioner. Yearly cutaneous survey and measurement of the blood pressure because some of the complications include high blood pressure, hypertension. And dermal pneumo the neurofibromas may not look nice and may disturb on the clothing. So it is, if it is troublesome for the patient, we can consider excision of the neurofibroma. Genetic counseling is also important in these cases. So these are the complications of type 1 neurofibromatosis and it occurs in 30% of the cases. One common complication is mild learning disability and others include local effects of the neurofibroma which can cause nerve root compression, further causing weakness, pain or paresthesia. For the gastrointestinal tract, they may be bleeding or obstruction of the intestine. For bone, cystic lesions, scoliosis, pseudoarthrosis. High blood pressure can be from renal artery stenosis or pheochromocytoma. Plexiform neurofibromas are large subcutaneous swellings that can occur as well. 
5% of the patients with type 1 neurofibromatosis may develop malignancy, such as optic glioma or sarcomatous change in the neurofibroma. There is also slightly an increased risk of epilepsy in those who have this condition, and some are associated with carcinoid syndrome. However, this is rare. That is all for this video. Thank you.